Hi everyone, Lisa Ashworth with the agency in Pasadena. Welcome to Why I Love Pasadena. I'm here with Tim Gregory, the building biographer. Tim mm -hmm. is a house historian and he has written over 3,000 house histories. And today, we are on Hillcrest Avenue, which has an amazing representation of my favorite era of architecture, the Golden Age. Actually, I've heard people call it a petting zoo for architecture. Oh, this particular street? Right. And we're standing in front of a home built by one of my favorite architects, Roland Cote. Tim, why don't you tell us about why you do what you do and a little bit about the style of Roland Cote's architecture. Okay, well, I started the building biographer about it's almost 25 years ago. Uh -huh. That's why I've done 3,000 homes <laughs> all over LA County, not just Pasadena. Um, but I really got interested in it because I grew up in Pasadena and I saw so many wonderful buildings torn down in the 60s and 70s. So I got very interested in preservation and then when Pasadena Heritage started, it was just something I thought was really great. Now tell us about Roland Cote. Well, Roland Cote uh, was an interesting man. He was one of the real progenitors of Spanish colonial architecture in the 20s. In fact, he went to Mexico several times to try and make it as authentic as possible. Right. Um, in the earlier days, architects would often use like pattern books or photographs and then duplicate what they saw, whereas Roland Cote really went out into the field and saw what the indigenous architecture was. Um, for about maybe two years, he was partnered with uh, John, uh, Reginald Johnson and Bernard okay. Coffin. Another favorite. And, yeah. uh, and they're the ones that built the house next, next door, door, actually. Next door, exactly. Although Roland Cope may have had a lot to do with the design, <laughs> since he did this one. Uh, and he was uh, quite well respected. I mean, people, even though he's kind of experimental in some ways, people really liked his, his style. You know, we're on a street with a lot of very, very expensive properties. And this one behind me is by far the most understated, which is another quality that I love about Roland yeah. Coates' architecture. Actually, it was built as a guest house for the house next Exactly. Hard. That's why it's smaller. That's, well, as a matter of fact, I actually sold this house. It's not why we're standing here today. Mm -hmm. Is there anything about this particular home you'd like to share with us? Get it is simple at the same time. It's got a lot of blank, blank walls. Not, not a lot of window openings, and they're kind of whimsically placed. Uh, rough plastering and the rough, rough uh, tiles on the rustic mm -hmm. tiles on mm -hmm. the roof. Special guest surprise, Mr. Leroy. Thank you so much. He's just stepped outside. You like your courtyard because I think that's one of that's the, the that's the thing that's the most sold. glorious the parts courtyard, of the house. The courtyard sold us on the house uh -huh. uh, with the fountain and um, the jacuzzi and the lap pool. But, right. but the courtyard with the covered area, it's just like an extension of the living room. Uh, and it, it even has a heater if you get chilly at night yep. uh, out there. And so it's just it's delightful. It's very quiet. It's, it's like your own little peaceful part of the world. You can sit there in the evening and read or have your cocktail. And there, and there isn't a sound, nothing to disturb you except for the sound of the fountain. No. It's, it's just, lovely. Just like being in Mexico. The, the toughest part is staying awake. Tell <laughs> <Right>? us <Yeah. laughs> what you love about this house. I like the charm of the house. Uh, it still has the old tiles on the floor. Um, it's a great design. Um, everything in the house is very authentic Spanish. Big high ceilings mm -hmm. in the living room with mm -hmm. big beams. Mm -hmm. uh, real wood burning fireplaces. Uh, two fireplaces upstairs and the, the two upstairs bedrooms. Yep, I remember those. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to our next uh, chapter of the Golden Age of Architecture. We'll be talking about a home designed by Wallace Neff. So, okay. until then. Okay. Thank you so much, <laughs> Tim. Bye-bye.